Um, on Market Watch, there's been I always see a number of um talk the talk about retirement. So did this article in particular or this situation, it it was a guy and his wife they're in their fifties with three hundred thousand in a four hundred one k and seven hundred thousand in in a pension. And the question was, will we have enough to live a simple life in, in retirement? Um, so the question is, how much what's do your you definition need? of a simple life? Right. So it seems like we got we got a million dollars. That that could be a lot. It could be a little bit. What's what's a simple life? That's that's the thing. Yeah, everybody's simple life that that you have to figure out that definition first. And I'm sure you got to prep yourself. This is where I say, you know, where I think. In our society, we kind of push things down down the line. Let me get this work done, and then I'll travel. So, if you're experiencing things as you're you're growing older, at that point in time, when it's time to retire, you're like, "Hey, I can live more simply. You know, I don't need this fancy car. I just need to get the A to B, or I don't need a car at all. You know, I don't really go anywhere. So, it's things that." I think if you don't kind of delay gratification all the time, you kind of get that real life sense of what I can cut back on and live more simple when it comes to retirement. I mean, that's true. Or you can think of it another way. So say say you, you just want to know how much money do I need to quit my job, right? Or it's like how much lump sum do I need in my in my bank account to be able to, because that's what their situation is, right? Hey, we want to retire and live a certain amount of time. We have X, Y, Z amount of money. How long would it last us? So one way to reverse engineer this is say you don't have the money in your account. You need to know how much money that you need. So whatever your current annual salary is, say you wanted to keep that same as that lifestyle. And let's just say you're making, say you want to be able to have a uh, $45,000 lifestyle per year for the rest of your life. How much money would you need in a lump sum to be able to do that? Well, it's something called the 4% rule. So you just take 45,000 and divide it by 4%. That tells you exactly how much you need, which is 1.1, right? So if, what, why is it 4%? Because technically, if you invest this into say the stock market or S&P 500, I bonds or something like that, and you're making over 4%, right? Like say you're making 6% or 8%, you can take 4% a year and get your 45,000 and live your life. So that's how they reverse engineer it. So based off what they are saying, hey, I got a million dollars, how long would it last? Well, if you just say the 4% rule, they got a million bucks, so that's around $40,000 a year of a life that they're gonna have. Now, depending on your mortgage, your cars, your eating out habits, that's gonna determine how long this money will go. And also, if you're investing in, of course, I, I hopefully this just isn't going to sit in no savings account. Um, if you're investing it, then hopefully you're earning 6%, 8% on average per year. The S&P 500, y'all, since its inception has earned 11.4% earned on average per year. That's at average. So some years it's higher, some years it's lower. So as you see, it's pretty feasible. So the real number, the real question is, uh, what kind of, how much money do you need per year? Divide that by 4%. That tells you the lump sum that you need to never run out of money and you're good. 